in three, two. Oh, I was gonna do it right now. Three, two. One more time. So oh. I'm just like. <laughs> Uh, hey guys, this is Divinity Customs coming back at we with the follow-up video for the Forescan programming. Um, we've already posted the installation video. If you haven't seen it, uh, check it out in the description uh, below. Sorry that it's all dark. I just got off work and I saw we were wanting to get more information on this. So I was like, okay, we'll go ahead and make a video real quick about it. So either way, um, I've already opened up the Forescan uh, program. Um, if you want to know how to actually download it, I will actually have that information in the description below as well. But either way, once you finally have got the program installed and you've got your uh, licensing uh, updated and whatnot, which I'll show you guys how to do that as well via the description below, uh, go ahead and plug your laptop or whatever you've got as far as the, the programming and stuff on. Uh, you're going to need this little USB to OBD2 port cable. Uh, when I bought the uh, cluster and the CD player, it actually came with one per unit. There's a switch on here that says MS to HS. So while we're doing this programming, we're going to be switching back and forth between the HS and MS. The instructions for the installation on when to do that is prompted both on here and on the four scan program. It knows when you need to switch, switch from HS to MS. If you don't know what that means, it doesn't matter. Just follow the prompts on the screen. Okay, once you got it on in there, you have to scroll over to where it says uh, configuration. I don't know if you, can you see that good? Configuration and programming. Click on it and then go ahead. Oh, actually, excuse me, I'm gonna go back to the home page. I gotta sync it first. We're gonna go back to the home page. Uh, over here at the bottom left corner, there's a little connector. It says connect the vehicle. Just tap that. You're gonna see it start reading up some text. Uh, just hit no on this. It's gonna keep pulling up information. You have to have it in HS when you plug it in. You know that the little switch, the HS, the MS, it has to be in HS when you plug it in. This is the problem that I'm talking about. It says this vehicle may have uh, MS scan uh, modules. Does your ELM adapter have HS MS? It does. And now it's going to prompt me to swap it from HS to MS. So just hit the little switch down here, the little click, and then hit OK. You might get a couple of these little yield sounds or not. That's totally normal. I do believe that if you start seeing a lot of bunch of like red stop sign looking stuff or not, then you've done something wrong. I don't want to save that profile. It's going to ask if you want to save the information that's already on there. I've already done this. You might want to go ahead and do it, and that's totally fine, but I'm not going to. It's it's complete now. It's it's going to it's gonna not really give you any kind of prompts or anything like that, but what you're looking for is this bottom feed right here. Uh, since I installed the CD player, whatnot, it found the GPS module that's giving out the global positioning system uh, communicator to it. That's my, that's my last module on there. I know that because I've actually been doing this stuff pretty well and pretty often. Uh, but once it's done, go to configuration and programming. Looks like a computer chip. All right, and what we're gonna be messing with is the as-built format on the vehicle. All right, so our ACM module that needs to be configured is right here. You have to click on where it says as-built format and you're looking for ACM. So you click on it, come on down, Hit this little play icon. It's gonna give you this warning that changes configuration is potentially unsafe. It's totally fine guys. We have the actual uh, programming information that we're gonna change on here. So do not worry about that. It's totally safe, just hit okay. What we're gonna be changing on here is the ACM 7270101. See all these X's in here? That's gonna represent characters inside of here. All right, you have to actually look at it. Uh, 7270101 is right here. It's got 9800280000F0. Those characters that fall on the X are not going to be changed. And we're only going to change this one. Come up over here. We're only going to change this one zero in the third character in the first slot. So the first four set of numbers, we're only going to change the third number in 7270101. So you look at your screen, find 7270101, hit 
Here it is, 727-0101-9800. So we're only going to change that zero, but I've already I've already done this. So that's why it's already, that third character is already a zero, okay? But I think before it was like 9810. So that what was happening is that I was trying to make phone calls. And instead of making phone calls via the actual speaker system, it just wasn't doing it at all. It would cut out, it would go to the radio, and I was talking to people on my actual cell phone in speaker mode. And it wasn't doing it through the car speakers. Well, that that's because whenever you do this install, your computer doesn't know that you've done this installation. So what you're gonna actually have to do is change the computer's programming on the inside so we can read and understand what's going on. And once you've changed this would not, we're gonna scroll down up over here. And you're gonna click right. You see where it says restore and it says right. Give it a chance to focus. All right, click on right. And it's gonna be a little prompt saying, are you sure essentially like that? Go and hit yes. And then it's done. Once you've done that, cut the car off, cut it back on, and then that particular function should be good. When you do this installation, there is a page full of things that need to be changed. It's not hard at all. Don't be intimidated, guys. Go real slow. Make sure you change the right character because if you change the wrong character, you could potentially mess something up. But if you just go slow, only fill in the X's. If you want to number the X's, that's totally fine. Uh, you can, but you're only going to change the value of the number that actually does not coincide with an X. Okay? So again, open up uh, the four scan uh, programming. Sync your uh, vehicle. Go ahead and link it up with that little icon. I'm going to go back to the, the home menu so you guys can see that again. Put this away. All right, go to the little icon on the bottom left. Make sure your switch is in HS whenever you're linking it. Uh, hit no on all the prompts that come on up. And then uh, it's gonna ask you to put it in S, uh, excuse me, MS mode on the switch. So just hit MS on the switch and then let it keep on syncing through. And then once it stops loading, come over here to this little computer chip looking ordeal. Got it. Where it says configuration and programming, click on it and then only change the value that's on this sheet. I'm actually gonna hit the X because you, you guys are not gonna see that. You're gonna see this screen right here. And you wanna make sure you click on the one that, say, that says as built format. If you don't change the one on as bit form, as bit form, format, golly bless, my freaking English is terrible right now. You're actually not gonna be changing anything. If you go click on any of this other stuff, I'm actually gonna go out of here and then go ahead and just close this out and then go back over here to the programming page. If you click on something that doesn't say as built format, like let's check this BCMB, you're gonna click on it, we're gonna hit the play icon, and then it's empty text. Well, excuse me, it's empty, it's just, it's just plain text. Uh, this isn't gonna change what you need to change. You need to make sure, I'm gonna go back out of this, that when you're on your programming screen, that you click on the as bit built format. I don't know why I keep butchering that, but it is what it is. Uh, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want any, any more information on that, feel free to inbox me. Uh, the guys over at Hell Horse were actually really helpful. Um, Sam Reeves was my connection. Uh, whenever I talked to him, he was really speedy on information. Um, anytime I got stuck on anything, he really helped me out. Uh, but that's it for the video. You guys have a good day. Peace.